This is discipline seven, shot number one. Really simple jump shot that's gonna split two balls off the spot. Uh, much like all the trick fancy shots that use this setup, uh, the one ball I'm gonna put right on the spot. My cue stick down so the tip's right under the cushion, right above the point of the side, corner pocket. Slide it in until it touches the one, and then we'll freeze the two ball to the cue stick on the one ball from there. Just make sure they're frozen, but these should be pretty well tapped in by the time you get to this point in the tournament because a lot of people will have used the same or similar setup on other shots. These two blocker balls are spaced uh, one ball width away uh, apart as is diagrammed in the program. I'm going to bring the cue ball back just a little short of a diamond um, and I'm going to put it off a little bit to my right so I'm going to have a little bit of angle to jump towards the two ball. A lot of people will use their jump break cue on this shot since you don't need to jump over a full ball. I still like to use my jump cue. Uh, either way it works. And you don't need to use a lot of elevation on this shot. I don't even really measure it out. Um, let's just uh, aim straight for the two. Center ball hit. jump break cue because you don't need to use a lot of elevation. Uh, I still find I don't need to use a lot of elevation with this cue either and by not using so much elevation it helps people uh, stay more accurate as far as hitting the front end of the two ball as well as uh, keeping a straighter stroke. So uh, you know as you can aim better and again be more accurate. Um, that's really all the tips I can give you on this shot. Uh, just find the right distance back that you need the cue ball. That might change when you get to the tournament site, depending on how jumpy the table is. But because you're not really jumping over a full obstacle ball, uh, it shouldn't make a big deal on this shot.